Good evening, everyone. I'm Sherry Jackson. And I'm Art Franklin. CBS 42 News reporter Tim Reed went along as those marchers took to the streets to celebrate Dr. King's life and legacy. Last year's MLK Unity March was canceled because of COVID-19, but today the march was back as hundreds took to the streets to celebrate Dr. King's birthday and to honor his legacy. Monday afternoon, this large crowd began their march from Martin Luther King Jr. Elementary School, headed downtown to City Hall to celebrate the life of Dr. King. What makes the MLK March special is the unity that it offers us, an opportunity to join together as a community. MLK Day means everything to me. It's an opportunity for me to march with so many other people who believe the same things and have the same morals and values that Martin Luther King had. It was a diverse group of people, young and old, black and white, who all came together to pay tribute to a man who gave his life for civil rights and believed all men are created equal. Well, it made me feel real good, made me feel great because, and especially to see so many young people, because we must get it in the young people's heart so that they, when we're going on and Dr. King going on, it's that it, the march goes on, the fight goes on, the struggle goes on. Everyone I spoke to tells me they want to pass Dr. King's dream along to the next generation so they can carry on his legacy of love and nonviolence. And so I just think that it means progress and all these other marches that have been happening to like spread awareness about Black History Month and how Black Lives Matter. I just think that it means progress. We have a past and we must learn from it. Today's march was sponsored by the Tuscaloosa chapter of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. In Tuscaloosa, Tim Reed, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.